Hey everyone, thanks for joining us here at Short Side Breaks. I wanted to bring a little video, show you some of my personal collection. Just started it, as you know. Um, so I started the channel so you guys could see me grow my personal collection. I was a uh, hockey card collector back in 1990. Um, don't want to age myself, but yeah, uh, I collected Upper Deck back in the Armour Yager rookie card days. Uh, nothing like going down to that local corner store and picking up a few packs for a buck or two and and just collecting cards for the fun of it um fell out of the hobby until 2005 went on that crosby and ovechkin hunt got both uh so that was exciting then had some kids and kind of grew out of it again uh but uh since the pandemic's hit i've kind of gotten back into it so yeah let's get right into it i want to show you uh, i just uh, got some mail uh, a few days ago so I want to show you some uh, some cards I've added to the PC. Uh, I'm a huge Flames fan, huge Bruins fan. So uh, let's, without further ado, let's start with the first one. Uh, it's a Kipper SP Notables uh, out of 999. Uh, Kipper, one of my favorite goalies of all time. Uh, and a great story about Kipper um, when my son was five or six. Uh, Tim Hortons uh, hockey. Uh, we were playing a team. Wasn't thinking anything of it. And... Uh, yeah, Kipper, right over there in the stands watching his kid play. Uh, it's pretty cool. If I if, if I still have the picture, I'm sure I do. Uh, I'll pop it up now. So yeah, there's the the first one that I've added to the to the collection. Second one is another SP Notables, Jerome, at a 9.99. Nice card, Jerome, greatest flame of all time. Don't have any cool personal stories about Jerome. Wish I did. <laughs> Third one. SP Extreme out of 25. I think this is one of my favorites that I got from the mail, uh, the eBay auction I won. Uh, you know, Lanny, another one of the greatest flames of all time. Brought us that cup in 1989. Next one, Neon Dion. Little ice cool threads. I like the look of that. Nice jersey patch. Uh, a story I heard about Dion, uh, and I don't know if it's true or not, but I heard when he was playing for Calgary, uh, he left his truck running and went into a grocery store or some store. And uh, yeah, when he came back out, truck was gone, stolen. So yeah, nice work, Dion. Next up, one of the greatest flames of all time as well. Um, he's not, doesn't have his number retired, but he's in the forever flame program. Not sure why they don't just retire the numbers that they should. And this is one they should. That's number two. Al McInnes, winning materials, dual patch. I'm not sure what the, the left definitely looks like jersey, but I'm not sure about the right side. Uh, if it was just a different texture part of the jersey. If anybody knows, feel free to comment below. i yeah, try to do this without knocking anything down. And then the final card I won on that eBay auction, um, Mr. Alex Tangay. Loved his time when he was playing with Calgary. Great playmaker. Playing along Jerome. Another dual, not patch, but another dual jersey card. Uh, I'm running out of room, so I'll put him over to the right of Kipper where you can't see him. Uh, I told you I collected in 05, 06, and got, I was very excited to get Dion's young gun. Uh, you know, at the time, you're like stud defenseman. Um, that young gun's going to be worth a lot someday. Uh, it's not, but it's still a cool one to uh, to hang on to. I did like Dion when he was playing with the Flames, and um, not so much with the Leafs, but yeah, he's a, he was a good defenseman. Uh, and then my brother also thought he was going to be something big, because I remember my brother gave me this card, and, and he was like, hold on to that, because that's at a nine ninety nine. That's going to be worth a lot someday. And uh, yeah, we all know that I think maybe you get a couple bucks for it on eBay. So yeah, um, continuing on with the PC, I told you guys uh, Peyton Krebs was from my hometown here in Alberta. So uh, definitely PC and Peyton, um, as you would have saw from my Series 2 um, break. I got this with nice fluorescence, Peyton. It's a nice card. Uh, I did get his Young Guns in Series 1, uh, but I did end up um, selling it and then found out that uh, the person I sold it to actually gave it to his family. So that's pretty cool. Um, here's his Parkhurst rookie. Let's cover up Dion for now. Uh, and then, of course, the UD Portraits, Peyton Krebs. 
makes me feel all these guys look so, I mean, they are so young, but uh, I remember when I was a kid, the uh, Mike Madonna's and the JR's of the world were coming into the league. And the crown jewel of my PC, haven't sold them. I did sell the Sid Young Gun, um, but I have not sold Ovechkin. Um, don't know if I ever will. I want to hang on to him. I want to see if he breaks Gretzky's all-time goal record. Not sure if he's going to do it. He might. He's got a chance. Um, I want to see if he'll do it. I, I, maybe his card price will skyrocket if he does. But, uh, yeah, there's the crown jewel of the personal collection. That's OV's Young Gun. I collected so much uh, 05, 06, Series 1 and Series 2. Uh, and was lucky enough to get Ovechkin's Young Gun early in the Series 2 breaks. Um, but, yeah. There you go. That's the very small personal collection right now. Um, like I say, I, I started this channel because I enjoy opening cards. I enjoy watching people open cards. So I hope you came along and enjoyed seeing these cards. I'm hoping to open some more boxes, have some more breaks in the future, but it's really hard right now with the prices of, uh, of the hobby boxes, even the blasters and the tins. It's crazy. I find it very hard to spend that type of money on hockey cards, but, uh, I'm hoping I'll find some good deals. I'm hoping I'll find some good eBay auctions that I can show you I've won. But yeah, everybody, keep collecting, keep selling, whatever it is that makes you happy in the hobby. Do it. Enjoy it. Um, that's it. Feel free to like the video. Subscribe below. I'm hoping to have some more content soon. Everybody, have a good weekend. Happy Easter.